in exercise 2.5 we have the function f0 which is the distribution function of the random variable t0 and using this distribution function we will show that the survival function of an x year old is given by this expression and the force of mortality of an x year old is a constant given by this expression Recall that f0t is the distribution function of the random variable t0, so it's the probability that t0 does not exceed small t. Then the survival function s0t is 1 minus the distribution function, because it's the probability that you exceed t, so we find the following expression e to the power minus lambda t for the survival function. But note that we now have an expression for S0, the survival function of 0 years old. And in question A, we need to derive as xt, the survival function of an x years old. So we need to connect the survival function of an 0 years old with the survival function of an x years old. We will use expression 2.1 from the book. And this expression tells us that we can connect tx with t0 as follows. So the distribution function of an x years old, fxt, is equal to the probability that tx is small equal than t, which we can write as the probability. So now we use expression 2.1. It's t0 smaller than x plus t given that t0 survives until x years old. We can write this conditional probability as follows. It's the probability that t0 is smaller or equal than x plus t and t0 exceeds x divided by the condition, the probability that t0 is bigger than x. And of course, this probability is S0x, and we can write this probability as follows. It's the probability that t0 is smaller or equal x plus t, minus the probability that t0 is smaller or equal than x, divided by S0x. And then you see that we have expressed the distribution function fxt in terms of the random variable t0. So we have f0x plus t minus f0x divided by s0x. So in this expression you only need information of the distribution function and survival function of a zero years old and we have all these functions. If we now use the expressions for f0 and s0, we find that fxt is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus a lambda x plus t minus 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x divided by e to the power minus lambda x. And if you rewrite this, you find 1 minus e to the power minus a lambda t. So the distribution function of tx is given by this expression and then you find that the survival function sxt is given by 1 minus the distribution function which gives you e to the power minus lambda t. And then you see that the survival function of an x years old is the same as the survival function of a 0 years old. In question b we have to calculate the force of mortality of an x years old. And in order to calculate this force of mortality, we will use formula 2.9 from the book, which tells you that in order to calculate the force of mortality, we have to determine the derivative of the survival function. So we need to calculate first the dx as 0 x, which is the dx, the survival function was e to the power minus lambda x. So if you take the derivative, you get minus lambda e to the power minus lambda x. 
So then you find that the force of mortality mu x is minus 1 over s 0 x d dx s 0 x. This derivative is exactly this expression, so we can write this as minus 1 over s 0 x minus lambda e to the power minus lambda x. And we know from the previous exercise that s 0 x is equal to e to the power minus lambda x. So we find lambda e to the power minus lambda x divided by e to the power minus lambda x, which gives you lambda.